Imagine having irregular periods that are so heavy you struggle to keep up with changing your pads and your tampons. Imagine having pelvic pain that's so bad you can't even get to work. Imagine not being able to have sex because it's just too painful. This is what it's like for a lot of people living with adenomyosis. Now, this has been in the news a lot recently because celebrities have been coming forward trying to highlight about this quite unknown condition. And I'm going to tell you all about it in this video. We're going to go through the symptoms, the causes, the diagnosis and the treatments. So whether you think you might have adenomyosis, you do have it, or you just want to know a little bit more about it, then watch the video all the way through to the end. Adenomyosis is a really common but underdiagnosed condition that affects millions of women around the world. In fact, we think it might be as many as one in five women of reproductive age. And this is a condition where the tissue that lines the, the womb or the uterus actually grows into the muscle wall of the womb. I'll try and draw this to help explain it because it's quite difficult to understand. Okay, I'll show you one here. So imagine these are your hips and this is your thighs. This is the vulva, which is the bottom of the vagina. This is the vaginal canal. This is the cervix that leads to the womb. And here's the womb, fallopian tubes that leads to the ovaries. So this is the womb. And this is the muscle wall of the womb. And what happens in adenomyosis is that the lining of the womb that should be here grows into the muscle wall. And then when you have a period, this tissue expands and bleeds and causes swelling and the muscle wall gets bigger and swollen and quite painful. So what causes adenomyosis? Well, to be honest, we're not entirely sure. We think that some women are predisposed, possibly related to their genes, their immune system, their hormones. We know that women between the ages of 40 and 50 who have had children are more likely to get it. And it isn't an infection, it is not contagious, and really importantly, it is not cancerous. There's sometimes some confusion between the difference of adenomyosis and endometriosis. And if you don't know what endometriosis is, then do watch the video I've made all about that. So the difference is endometriosis is where the tissue that should be lining the wall of the uterus or the womb ends up outside of the womb. So it could be in the fallopian tubes, in the bladder and the bowel. And in adenomyosis, that rogue tissue just ends up building, as we've seen, in the muscular wall of the womb. Some women, unfortunately, can have both conditions at the same time. What are the symptoms of adenomyosis? Well, a lot of them I've touched on already. So the most common ones are that kind of painful, really heavy periods. And you can even get pelvic pain before your period starts. So we call that premenstrual pain. Less common symptoms, but a lot of women struggle with, are pain on sex and even pain on bowel movements. It's not thought to affect your fertility, so you can still get pregnant, but it has been shown to have an increased risk of miscarriage or premature birth. Symptoms do end with the menopause. How do we diagnose adenomyosis? Well, it actually can be really difficult to diagnose because it is similar to other conditions such as fibroids or endometriosis. So typically you may have to have a pelvic exam at the doctor's office or you may get an ultrasound arranged or an MRI scan. Um, you may need to be referred on to a specialist gynecologist for further investigations. What treatments are there? Well, there's lots of options. The only curative treatment is surgery, which may not be suitable for everyone, especially if you're wanting a family. So it kind of depends on what situation you're in at the moment, because some people have very severe symptoms and some people don't. So there's not necessarily one answer for everyone. It may be if you only have mild symptoms, you're managing with just simple painkillers, things like a TENS machine perhaps can help. Um, or if you're struggling with really heavy periods, you can get medicine from the doctors. It's prescribed something like tranexamic acid. Hormonal contraception is a really good option because that can help control your periods as well. If you do uh, think about going for surgery, then obviously a hysterectomy, which would be removal of the uterus, um, can cure it, but obviously that would end your fertility. Um, and there's something called uterine artery embolization, where they essentially cut off the blood supply to shrink the adenomyosis. Okay, so in summary, adenomyosis is a really common condition that for some women can be really severe. So it's really helpful for people to understand it a bit more because it's not that well understood by many people. So I hope you've learned a lot from watching this video and do share it with anyone else who also may find it helpful. There's 
lots of information you can get. I'm going to include some links in the description to some fantastic charities that are doing support work and building awareness. And if you think you may have these symptoms, then please do reach out. Don't suffer in silence. Get some help from your healthcare team. And do look out for some of my other videos you may also find helpful on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care. Diagnosis of adenomyosis. That rhymes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay.